Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about a cool JavaScript library called Reveal.js which is used to create presentations and create them very quick. So suppose you have to give a presentation to your peers or you have to present something at a local meetup or somewhere else uh, and you need a presentation for that. So rather than doing it in Microsoft Office or doing it in LibreOffice, uh, I found doing it with Reveal.js is very easy and it looks more professional. So I will show you what actually Reveal.js is. So if you search for Reveal.js, you will get to their page, which says it's a HTML presentation framework. Now this site is actually created as a collection of Reveal.js slides. So let's see what's there in Reveal.js. So you can move uh, between slides using space key or the arrow keys. You can use any one of them. So this is just plain slide. Some text is there on the slide. Now this slide is a collection of actually three slides. Suppose you have something that is having three steps in it. So you can present that in a way of vertical slides. So you can move to step one, step two, step three, like that. And then clicking on the arrow key, next arrow key, you will get to the next slide. And you can create uh, slides with Reveal.js using slides.com. Even if you are not a programmer, you can create slides very easily. You can zoom in. So if you hold on the Alt key and click somewhere, you can zoom in between the slides, inside the slide. Touch optimized means it works good on your mobile devices also. You can add markdown, so you can add HTML also in that your slides. And you can present text in cases of fragments, so it will appear one by one, like that. And Reveal.js gives you features of transitions, so you can see th this transition between slides. So you can change the transition to convex or concave or zoom. And you can easily change the theme just a matter of changing uh, the CSS. We can change the background of the slides, like this slide, see the background, and in the next slide, the background is changed. For particular slides, you can change the background if you want. And you can add the code in your slides and beautify them. Uh, like here, we have used highlight.js uh, to highlight the code on the slide. You can add uh, tables and lists like here we have used the list and this is ordered list and this is a table and you can add the code nothing much like plain things HTML thing you can put here and you can connect two slides I haven't used connect features and there is a speaker view uh, which lets you see your notes so if you press S, you can see your notes. So this is actually the note you have written for yourself while speaking. You can close that up. So, and there is a timer also. So if you want to speak that in this much of time, you can do that. And you can export this presentation as a PDF, which is a great feature. Global state, and you can change the, and it, it basically means you can customize the uh, presentation as you like. You can add event handlers on each slide basis. And suppose you want to talk on a particular slide for some time. Suppose you want to talk for five minutes on a particular slide and you don't want that slide to appear on the screen. You can just press B and it will just fade in. That is a great feature. And there is a lot of support here for JavaScript API and backgrounds and keyboard bindings. You can handle particular keyboard events. Uh, if something, suppose if particular set of uh, keys are pressed, you can even uh, bind those events to some code of JavaScript. And it's very easy. And there is a great documentation, which is actually very necessary if you are working with any JS library. 
So this is about reveal.js. Now I will show you what I created with reveal.js. Uh, this is tanagainsporn.org, which I created using reveal.js. This is a collection of 20 slides and pretty basic slides. Uh, I just included some text, which is actually, this is a header and this is text of the slide. And you can see the transition, how the transition happened between slides. All the slides are similar. They have a header, a headline, and some text. And one thing to notice is you have this bar progress bar which tells you where are you in the presentation on which slide you are and you can also add the slide number if you want and you can easily navigate between slides so I will show you the code for this uh, website which I created using reveal.js it's very simple all you have to do is get the reveal.js JavaScript library and the CSS and themes file so grab this one, reveal.js, and then grab the CSS file, and this one, reveal CSS, and get some themes which you want to use. So if you want to use all these themes, you have to grab these CSS files also. So I added the CSS file, I added the theme file which I, I'm using in this site, and at the down, I added the JavaScript file and initialized that reveal.js. So here I'm just saying I need the controls. Controls are these things. These are controls which are visible on the presentation. And then I'm saying I need to show the progress, which is actually this progress bar down here. Then I'm saying I need a history true. History means like each slide of the presentation will be saved in your browser history. You can set it to false, that's not a mandatory thing. And center, I need the slide to be centered and the transition between slides will be convex. You can change it to anything. And dependencies, there is no other dependencies of this thing, so the dependencies areas is empty. Now let's see what's there in each slide. So we have a div class, uh, div with a class reveal, and inside that we have all our slides as a section. So we have a all our slides, and this slides div is inside an outer div with have the class of reveal. So this is a section which is have a header and then some text again, some header and some text. So all slides are like that. We have a section tag for each slide. Pretty easy. So suppose you want to change the theme or, or the presentation. It's very easy. All you have to do is change the CSS theme here. Suppose I want to change the theme to say Skype rather than beige theme so you can check that out it's running on my local system so i can show you from here so this is sky theme i actually don't like the sky theme i will just put it back to beige and refresh the page it actually not bees it's misspelling it's a beige So if I refresh the page now, it will come as like this. So you can change the theme very quickly and you can change the transition between slides very easily. So suppose from convex, I need zoom. I can change the transition between slides very easily. See how the transition between slides happen. I actually didn't like this transition so I will change it back to convex uh, 
and that's pretty much it so you can create a great presentation very easily and I think it's a great way to creating presentation rather than using those PowerPoint presentations and it looks quite professional and you should give it a try definitely you should give it a try